Hey everyone, it is Queen Cooley. Let me just plug this in. And I hope you are all doing well. Just shoot this very, very impromptu video, or if you're listening to this in audio for you, I'm going to put this for the 11s right now because I've been getting so many requests for the 11s. And of course, you know, I'm an 11 as well. If you don't know who I am, I am Queen Cooley. I am here on planet Earth. I was put here to be an activator. I am the person that will help you find your gifts and unearth them, gain access to them. Sorry about that and move forward and find out what your destiny is and what you're here for. Because each one of us signed a contract when we came here and we are here for a reason at this specific time and place. So that's why I'm here. All of you that are 11s, I am sure, because I've been getting it myself, all my clients have been getting it, is a lot of pressure from the outside. And you know every number is getting the pressure because many people are awakening you may be just waking up right now and it's the first time you've ever seen me. You may have been with me for a while and you've been awakening and you've been going through the process, but you know it's been a little glitchy or a little tough. And what I wanted to do was let you know that one, there is nothing wrong with you, okay? Because many people that I speak with, and I used to feel this way as well as an 11, because we are so deep. We don't do, I always say we're allergic to the basic stuff, right? We're allergic to the normies. We are completely different. Um, and most people don't understand us. And that becomes hard for us because we don't do small talk like ever. It just doesn't happen. We don't even know what that is. We are programmed and the way that we're built is to go, you know, seven, 11 layers deep. And that is why so many of us have a hard time sometimes really relating to other people. That's why we need a lot of alone time, that, that, which can turn into a, you being a hermit, which is not good, right? So I understand where you're at. And many of you are working through this, which is awesome. My, what I always say to people is even a shaman needs a shaman because nobody can see all their own stuff. And you have to remember that a lot of what's happening in your life is a reflection of you, your energy, your vibe that you put out into the world. But what you have to remember is a lot of times it's subconscious. I can't remember the exact number percentage wise, but it was something like 90 or 92% of everything that we do and think out of all the, you know, thousands and thousands of thoughts that we have every day are subconscious. So really that's, what's running the show. So when I talk about money and I've been having these conversations with clients, what's stopping you from earning and making a hundred thousand, 200,000, a million, whatever that, that number is, whatever you want that number to be. Now I can teach a whole series on mindset and money. Because I have done so much work on myself. I am that person who was told when they were young, you don't know how to balance a checkbook. You're not good with money. You never will be. You overspend. You don't understand the value of it. And also, you know, money's the root of all evil. It's very negative. Um, there's never enough. All that stuff that we pick up from society, from our families and ourselves internally. I, If you guys, any of you out there listening, want me to teach on money and manifesting it versus repelling it, tell, let me know because I will do it. Because I've had a lot, and I'm talking decades of experience that was negative with money. And I just, knock on wood, gotten a handle on it probably in the last seven years. And that's because I came across a couple of books that really helped me. And I really started understanding how money is an energy. It's neither positive nor negative. You are the one that gets to assign how money is in your world, right? And the things that you do are a reflection of the beliefs that you've picked up about money, that your parents said, that you've seen in movies, you've heard in songs. It's all part of that. But anyways, I don't want to go too down that, deep down that road. But a lot of you are trying to do something different. You may be in corporate and wanting your own, you know, be a heart-centered entrepreneur in your own business. You may have your own business, but it's not going as well as you want it to be and you think it should be. 
So money is always a concern, right? And what's stopping you from earning what you want? Last year, before we rolled into 2023, I decided for myself, not just for money, but for my business and for me personally, everything that I did, I was, I, I'm no longer going to accept mediocrity. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to take a baseline that's super low because I'm afraid to reach for what I really want. And so many of the 11s are people pleasers. We don't put down boundaries. We don't put ourselves first. And all of that has to change. You have to fix that in yourself before you can actually start receiving. Even receiving is sometimes, lots of, lots of times hard for us. Even receiving a compliment, let alone money. And it's all tied together. If you can't receive a compliment well and just say thank you and keep it moving, and that's what I'm talking about, because you've been trained to think it's your ego and it's bad, or if you're spiritual, you shouldn't have, you know, but yet you give out compliments all the time to people like nothing, like, hey, I like your outfit. Hey, you got pretty eyes. Hey, you know what? I love that car. That's awesome. You don't think anything of it, but when people do it to you and say it to you, you, whoa, right? Your whole world shakes and it's stupid. Really? All you have to do is say, thank you and keep going, right? But underneath the reason why that's happiness happening is because of the worthiness because you don't feel worthy of that compliment. You don't feel worthy of any of that, maybe of a certain amount of money. We all have money set points and this is a number that you will not go above, right? It could be, let's just say for the year, I want to, I want to earn and make a hundred thousand dollars. Let's just say, but let's just say that you've always been at like 50,000, 40,000, and you've never been able to get higher than that. Do you know if you don't, if you made over that, which is over your threshold, that's the threshold that you're comfortable with in your mind, you would get rid of it so fast. It wouldn't even, you couldn't even shake a stick at it. That's why a lot of people that win in, you know, lottery, if they were poor before they won within a couple of years, it's gone because they have bad money habits and they, it just goes anyways. So, but part of what I'm trying to explain to you now is what's stopping me, what's stopping you from manifesting that 100,000, 200,000, a million, it could be way more than that. There are people out there, I'm sure, that are listening that make a couple million dollars a year. And they're like, you know what? I don't want to do that anymore. I want to go up to 10 million or I want to go up to 15 or 20 million, whatever it is, right? So the reason why you can't just make it happen is because you haven't created the container for it, number one, because everything needs an energetic container. Two, you don't believe that you're worthy, right? And three, and probably most importantly, is that you're in a contraction vibration. And so there's contraction and expansion and you cannot, cannot, no way, no how, um, vibrate at the right vibration for receiving and get what you want, what you expect, unless you are expanding. It's kind of like a fear and a faith thing, right? I'm sure you've probably heard that animals and humans can't learn in the fear state. If you're in fear and you're really scared for your life, you're hyped up, you know, you've got adrenaline, cortisol, all that running through your body. I can't stop you and go, okay, let's slow it down. I want to teach you something. You're like, I can't, I can't, I can't. Have to be in a state of acceptance and a state of relaxation to learn, right? But so many of us are going through our day, we're reacting, we're not proactive, we're reacting and we're contracting and reacting to something, which means that you can't learn anything. And that also will stop you from manifesting what you truly want in your life, especially in terms of money, right? So these are all the things that I can help you with. Also for many of us, and maybe for you, you might be the one person in your family that says, you know what, even if my family did pretty well, I want to be the one that takes it higher than anybody else. And I also want to be the one that breaks the curses or what's stopping us from could have happened many, many eons ago from a great, great, great grandmother or grandfather, right? Okay. Vows of poverty. It's a real thing. My family had it and it affects me from, from ancestors that are long, long gone. I'm talking like the 1600s. 
but because it's in your blood and because nobody cleared it, it's still there. So if you think about it, a lot of the hangups and the way that I felt about money, if I had an ancestor that took a vow of poverty, guess what? That's still in place until I break it. I know it's crazy, but it's the truth. But we are bold enough. We are brave enough to move forward. This is a whole new us. We are not our ancestors. It is not the 1600s, thank God. And we will find a way through this. But what you want to do is look for loops. I call them loops, okay? And the triggers to loops. And loops basically are you deciding, hey, okay, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to make X. I've never made that, but I'm really thinking that's what it feels good for me. I want to make $100,000 this year. I'm just using that as an example. And you start to move forward. And then all of a sudden, whoa, everything stops. Uh, I can't do that. How am I going to do that? Oh, that's scary. I, I don't know how to do this. I, I mean, can I even do this? I think I can, but I'm not sure. What you're doing is you're bumping up against all your old programming and your false fears. Because remember, whenever you try to do something new, you've got your whole life that you felt about something one way. Now I'm asking you, or you're choosing, you have to choose it to decide to move forward in a different way on this path. Make sense? So you're not bumping up against something you just learned a year ago. You're bumping up against something you've known since you were a child and you adopted beliefs and sayings in your life. And now very difficult to break free from, but it can be done. And we have to start off by saying it's easy to do. What would this look like if it was easy? What would it look like if it was easy for me to make $100,000 or $200,000 this year? What would it look like if I could actually make that kind of money? Where would I put it? What would I do with it? Right? I wouldn't just hoard it. I would help animals. I would create programs to help other people that are homeless, whatever it is, right? But you have to think about it, play with it, know the number, get used to the number in your mind and in your heart, right? And accept the number so that you feel worthy of it so that when it comes to you, you don't just get rid of it, right? Release the vow of poverty and then build the container for it. So it's a couple of different steps. It's not just about you going, okay, I noticed something and I'm going to change it. There's certain things that need to happen, but I want to encourage you because if I can do it, you can do it. And I was the worst with money. And now not the case. I'm good with it. And it's a totally different life because what happens when you get good with this is that instead of you trying to pull things towards you, it's super hard. Things just come to you because you're on the right vibration and you're in alignment. So let me know if this resonates with you. Uh, I There are three ways to work with me. You can take private sessions, private coaching sessions. We do it via Zoom and then I send it to you. So have it. I work with people all over the world. I'm in the States, obviously. It doesn't matter where you are. Um, work with me that way. Also the Brave Academy, you can do that as well, which is all about you being brave and your money and matching that up and what you will not tolerate and what you need to happen in your life. Because remember, the lowest point is what you'll tolerate. And nobody wants to be at the lowest point. They always want to be above that and better. We want a better life so that we can bless others and make our mark and leave a legacy for people and animals, right? And then the third way, so you can work with me individually. We can do healings together. We can do mindset work. You can also be in the Brave Academy, which is amazing. And that's a whole other level. And then from there, you can also, I am um, getting a membership program together, which is going to have two different tiers. One tier is going to be self-paced. You can do your own thing. And the other will be more with me. So if that's going to start in the beginning of June. So I'm going to let um, you have a wait list on that. So I just wanted to encourage you. You can change. You can have the life that you truly want. You are a divine being of light. You are one of God's children. You may not, I believe in God. You might say spirit. You might be Jewish. You might be Catholic. You might believe in uh, Buddha, whatever it is. You might be Muslim, whatever it is. Whatever works for you, whatever your highest self or deity is, it, it doesn't matter. But it's time to change. I mean, do you really want to go forward living the life you've been living, which is maybe some of you are doing a great job, but the people that 
usually I talk to need help. They can't see the forest through the trees because nobody can see everything about themselves. This is where I help you with these loops and we get rid of them. We find out what triggers them. We don't assign emotion to them and we move them along so you can have the life you want. Okay, guys, I hope this helped. Again, I know this was very impromptu, but I'm so passionate about this and I know it works. And you guys, it's time. You're worth it. All right, leave a comment below. I always respond. If you want to work with me, email me as well. All the links will be below. I'll talk to you guys soon.